Welcome to episode 100 of Oxygen Not Included Adventures, Oni Adventures. Thank you so much for those of you guys who and I've watched all of them, actually. That's pretty crazy, but I know some of you guys have. Um, so today, I don't really have anything special planned for episode 100. Uh, I just want to continue just basically refining the base a little bit and get prepped for the eventuality of us trying to go to space again. And that's going to be, obviously, this whole mess with the cleanup and re rebuild. I might actually build it somewhere separate over here just to just to give us a clean, fresh start uh, and then figure out what we're going to do with all this crap. <laughs> so that's something that we'll tackle uh, another time. But uh, right now, it's just a bit of a matter of going through and refining things. We made a lot of changes over the past couple of weeks. Uh, we tried to do something with this <laughs> and it failed. It failed just, just, oh man, just so, 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 so much. Um, but it's fine. The steam thing is just really, just, it just really bothers me that we couldn't get that figured out, and that's totally fine. It's just, it, sometimes it happens. But at least we got this part uh, organized here, so that way we're we're slowly cooling the uh, the steam in here. At least I hope so. There's so much steam that I feel like it will eventually like lower, uh, I just convert to uh, uh, to water. But uh, you know, only time will tell. So we'll let that run for a little bit and then come check on it. Uh, one thing I noticed here though is this thing is uh, its giving us some guff. What's the deal? Fertilization, huh? What does this thing need fertilization again? Phosphorite. Uh oh, are we out of phosphorite? God, please tell me this is how we're going to kick this off. No, actually, we have uh, not much at all. Wow. So it looks like we have a bunch that's uh, that's inside of some of these bins, but you, as you can see, there's really not a whole lot. So I think probably everything that we have exists inside of these. Yeah, inside of these bins, and that is it. So, we do need to go and find some... Yeah, this bin is empty here, and there's probably none on the rail either. Yeah, very little on the rail itself. Uh, so, so, that means we need to find some phosphorite first. Let's do that right now. Let's go and go here, and then I believe it is a... Cons organic? I believe it's organic. I forget. It's the algae. Uh, cold wheel soil, that's right. Soil, 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 soil. What color is it though? Pink. There we go. So there's a lot right here. So we'll be able to get in here and get all this, and that'll take care of us for a little while. But we do eventually need to come up with a better system uh, to go through. And there's a bunch of phosphorite laying on the ground over here. Look at this. Is this because? Is it because of the? Um... Oh yeah, huh? Maybe. That's what we should probably do. Actually, get a Dreco and then let them just basically I mean, look they're already doing so much work in here just just naturally so that'll be maybe that's something we should do eventually we, we did f try to figure out what we're going to do in terms of uh uh our uh, body temperature oh boy we'll do that in a second um in terms of all the meal wood we have tons of meal wood just kind of floating around not doing anything so why not build a small self-contained farm that just just a ranch that just kind of takes care of itself um but you know growing meal wood they'll drop meal wood the drecos will eat it and then, you know, we move on from there and just basically farm up the uh, phosphorite that they drop. I think that'll probably be the best thing to do. Wrangle them all up and then do all that. Hmm. Well, first, let's just start with the, uh, the first thing. <laughs> first, we'll start with the first thing. <laughs> and that's going to be getting getting uh, the, the fertilizer thing taken care of. Otherwise, we're going to have some serious issues all the way around the base. So let's go ahead and get some plastic ladders here because that's what we have the most... <laughs> We have an abundant amount of it. And we'll go ahead and go up here with chlorine. Chlorine, uh, it's not a lot of chlorine. I could probably mix it with the general everything. I believe it's chlorine already. Yeah, there's already chlorine already out here, it looks like. Let me see. That was actually polluted gas. Actually, we don't have a lot of chlorine out here. Is it pooling? No, not really. It's a couple of little, here it goes. A little, little tiny little dab. 27.5 Gs. Okay, so there's not really a lot of chlorine actually floating around the base. So maybe we shouldn't just like unleash it. <laughs> so we won't do that then. So we'll go ahead and go up and we'll have them just dig across and uh, mine all this stuff out. Uh, whatever they can reach. Actually, looks like they can uh, if we cancel that. And then get this up. Cool. So we'll be able to reach all this. And then one, two. What is this? Uh, iron ore. Sure, we'll take the iron ore too, actually. Might as well while we're here. And that'll be a good way to get that started. And they can actually get through that and get this as well. Let's see, and then we'll stop there. This might be kind of difficult for them to reach right away, so we'll do this, and then they'll be able to reach that. Cool, so let's go ahead and make your priorities up on that so we can get started, get all this stuff out of here, and then we don't have to worry about the phosphorite issue. Here they come already. Bring in the plastic. There it is, zap, 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 zap. Also, they can bring so much plastic. They give him four ladders in one one trip. That's pretty good. Probably could have been more, actually, if he could reach more. I think he just re got the ones that he could reach, so I wonder if he could reach... I wonder how many ladders worth he could carry. Let me see. Well, Biffy's gone. She's got all this stuff in her bag right now. Uh, it would actually, that would be under the skills. Curious. 
Let me see. 400 key. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 800. Oh, man. That's a lot of, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of ladders. By the way, do you see me? <laughs> Look at the skills on this side. The morale is so high. So high. Um, I should go through and probably start giving these guys like exosuit wearing or something, something to, uh, to make them more useful, especially anybody that's leaving the, uh, leaving the area. Let me see. Let's see what we got here. Bristle berry. Sure, we'll take a bristle berry. We have 456,000 kilocalories of food. We could always use some more. So that's going to take care of our phosphorite issue temporarily. Again. <laughs> temporarily again, basically. Unreachable dig. Oh, we could probably reach that once we get up here and start digging through this. They're already getting through the phosphorite right now. They're, they're, yeah, they're grabbing the phosphorite up to get that um, out to the areas that need it. So good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go. And then what else? Got some phosphorite chilling over here. They don't can. They can reach that if they break this. So they could do both of those. So step down, step up, zap, zap, zap. I don't know. He can't reach to this one though. There's no way. That's fine. We don't necessarily need all of it. We just need enough of it. Clear the old soils. Check that again. There's like a whole grip of it up here too. So we could probably eventually work our way up there and grab that. And there's some all over the place. This is again like I'd much rather instead of going through and like like coring out the entire base. I know some pla some people by the time they reach a thousand they have the entire asteroid mined out. Um, but you know I kind of just I kind of don't want to deal with that. <laughs> kind of want to slowly expand the base. You know just kind of enjoy it a little bit. Uh, I've got all the pretty colors and everything. Although I wish I could get better backsplash on the uh, on the showers. I feel like they kind of stand out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, natural gas. We're pulling in some natural gas, but not a lot. Dormant, dormant. Both of them are dormant, which means this is probably topped off here. 2,000 it is. Uh, we have some gas coming from the bottom. That's our backup. We have lots of gas down here, just chilling. We should probably get rid of some of this oxygen eventually, but I'm not going to worry about that. Right now, again, it's the steam. We want to make sure the steam is converting. We want to make sure that they have they have plenty of uh, phosphorus, which they do, actually. This is getting full. Let's see what the temperature is in there. Negative 13.2, I'm looking at that temp shift plate. Negative 13.1, actually warming up. Oh, interesting. That's a, that's actually warming up at a pretty good pace. We should probably do something about that. What's going through here? It's just the same thing. So I think what we should probably do is maybe restrict how much we oh I know what we could do let's do this this will be a quick way to kind of cut off and limit the amount that we're putting in here without necessarily making a dupe go in there we'll just take some gas pipe here and we'll just connect it to this and then it'll it should uh actually is this thing open oh it's not open <laughs> okay let's put a switch there and then we could control it manually we'll just switch out here and then we'll put just a simple switch definitely lower it please I got the boys sitting behind me. It's summertime, so summertime quarantine. So we're gonna get the that done. Get that done now. I don't have to do that though. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll just open and close this as needed. So zap zap, cool, open. And then what we'll do is we'll slow down a little bit because I want to see how much we're letting out. Nice and even distribution right there. That's perfect. Uh oh, we're, we're paused right now. Yeah, we'll start with this. We, we we have to let it get cold. Like we have to give it an opportunity to actually get cold before we start taxing it with um with, with all this BS that I'm putting through right now. So we'll do that to close it. There we go. Uh, let's look at. Oh, okay. It's, it's it's still building up over there, but it's probably just for its 1,000. Yeah, 1,000 grams of uh of that. So that's a pretty. This is a pretty weak cycle. <laughs> like a really weak cycle of 250, 350 per. Per blot, but at least this should start uh, cooling down now. So I don't know if it actually has like a, a deceleration point. Like if it starts accelerating towards a certain direction, if it has to slow down first and then start to warm up, uh, it shouldn't. But as actually, as you can see, uh, it's already starting to cool off a little bit. 10.4. So it's still cooling. The hydrogen that's going through the loop, but uh, it's not cooling it so much that it's just basically giving away all of its energy. If that makes sense. Take all my energy. Yeah, very, very slowly making its way up. Give me a 10.6. Give me a negative 10.6. Come on, come on. Negative, come on. For reals? <laughs> All right, well, it's it's staying steady. So that's uh, that's something that we can uh, uh, be okay with at least. I just want to see 10.6. <laughs> slowly zoom out until you give it to me. Slowly zoom out. 
slowly. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look away. I'm gonna. Look, uh, ten point four. No. What? Oh, okay. That was one of the other ones. Okay. Well, it's steady. So we'll come back and check on that a little. At least we know that in ten cycles, it's not gonna just immediately just uh, shit the bed. So let's see. We other. I've got our pinch of peppernuts back up. Which means we got our food supplies back up. Uh, well, that's right. We were gonna do this a little bit differently because right now, as it's set up, he's basically making food uh, until he he drops. What the heck kind of crazy artwork is this? <laughs> what the heck? It's like a like a, a fist and a hand and a and a looks like a puff inside of a uh, a helmet and then like a rocket pack. <laughs> Some weird monster. Let me see. What are these things set up as? So yeah, this is what I wanted to do was go through and set up maybe a um. And gate or something, some kind of gate, just to basically tell this thing to, uh, to tell it to shut off the food whenever it reaches a certain level. And so what that is, I don't know. So it's just a matter of figuring out how we want to do it. Like there's a couple here, I think. Like the signal selector, I think will uh, will allow you to have multiple ends. Does it hide? What if this hides pretty well or not? But basically, we could t we could tag it with a whole bunch of things and then let it send a signal based off of a combination of things. If it's this or that or this or that. I think I kind of see it. I think I see it. Let's try it. I've never used one of these, so we're kind of going to just go in here and just give this a shot. Let me see. We're going to snip, snip these dudes. And we'll go ahead and actually get rid of this for the time being. Just get that out of the way. And so they should be around. Right, there we go. So we'll do one, two, three, and we'll see what that does. And we'll watch, we'll watch it and see how it... Because we might still need a knock gate. There we go. So that's a no. So it's sending a no. I like that. So that should, that would be a shut off. But I want it so that all three of them have to be on. Let me see. It looks like I might have to put it over here. This is a complicated thing. I'm gonna have to study this thing for a second. <laughs> I could see that. Let me see if these two are green. It's the, it's the red overrides. This. Uh, if this was full, which I could I could simulate right now, if I were to make this uh, 75, now it's full. Oops. Now it's sending green, and so we want green, and then we want not, and then that would turn off the systems here. So a not gate would be in place. Does this show up in the? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Can you imagine if this thing was visible? <laughs> this great big huge thing. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put a knock gate here. I think yeah, this looks like it's probably correct. And so we'll, and then we'll, we'll just do some snipping here. And then just connect this guy here. What are we using to make this thing? Copper. Okay, that's fine. Eventually we're going to have to do something about all that copper we're, we're accumulating very, very slowly. Uh, over at the copper, the copper mine, or copper volcano. Let's see. Let's get this built. Actually, I want to make sure we're just doing the construction here. It's eight. There we go. Speed things up. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on, baby. By the way, I'm having this, uh, I'm, I'm doing this, uh, recording this while I'm having my morning coffee here. And you guys are going to be watching this while you're having your, um, your evening nightcap. Two very different vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting my day. Oh, steel! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my gosh. Jeez. Aluminum, iron. Okay, wow, I'm just, just choosing like random stuff. What is this made out of? Oh, steel? Jesus, come on. I mean, thank God they're cheap, but still, man, like we shouldn't just be throwing steel at everything just because we can. Are we really worried that these things are gonna melt down somehow? Lead. Lead. Lead all the things. There, make that nine. Nine. Do it. There, so red signal, that's what I want to see. Red signal, shutting everything down. Now we're gonna we're gonna crank that back up so that way it makes more sense, or that way it fits what we're currently doing. Um Oh actually it's already kind of it's already full. There we go. So we're still gonna have like ton of kilocalories of food to set aside. This should be all cooking ingredient, fantastic. There. So now the machines should be uh oh, they are on. Oh, that's right, they're on because yes, yes, because it's a knock game. That's right. So give it a second for the save. By the way, it's not the save that does this, which is weird. Uh, and I can't decide if it's the picture or not either. Because the save will... Um, I wonder if we can incorporate this somehow. 
No, no, this wouldn't make any sense to attach this to this network. Uh, but yeah, I've, just, I've actually set it before it saves every five days, or five cycles, and it still did the daily thing. So it has to something to do, it's probably the picture, um, which actually I think the picture is really small, so I don't even think it's that. Let me see, game, options, yeah, the picture is really small, so it's not even that. Who knows? It's just a thing that it does every day. <laughs> it's funny, you just get so used to it, you don't even think about it. It's just like, yeah, it's just, just going to freeze up every day, no big deal. Uh, let's see, falls asleep periodically. Oh boy, gosh, we add another person, binge eater, sticker bomber. I could deal with both of those things. Let's not, let's not yet, let's not yet. Let's not yet, that's gonna, that's, that's coming soon, but not, not, not right now. I, I would like to get this issue resolved here next, if I can. Let me see, what's the problem here? Oh, the problem here is it's hot. Ooh, it's really hot. Is it hot because of the water we use? Probably, yeah. Um, not not too difficult to fix. Uh, it's just basically a matter of getting, well, let me see. This gas is gonna just stay in here like this, so we will, what do we wanna do? Lock with tuner, oh, it's not, why is it not? Are we locked up here? Let me see. Oh, the vents are closed because the pressure is too high, huh? It is, huh? Or maybe it's a combination? This should send to... I'm trying to remember what my, my setup is here. Oh, this just goes to the vacuum. Okay, cool. So that's not really... We'll, we'll worry there. I see that's just popped open here. Uh, let's, let's, let's just do 1800. Let me get some good flow. And still give us a little bit of room before it caps out. We'll do the same thing here. 1800. Copy those settings. Do the same thing here. So I should... No? Let's see, uh, if it's below, let's see, above, below, what the heck? Am I tripping? What was that? I got wires connected. Let me see, if it's above or below, I mean, one of those two should open the main gate. There it goes. Okay. So it's below a certain amount, then open it up. That's what I want to see. I guess, did I change this last time, I wonder? Yeah, that should open all the gates. So now we should have some flow, but we're not getting any flow because this system is locked up somehow. The gases, maybe? Is that it? Let me see. If below 62 degrees, send a... Or if above, send a green signal. So that should be on. So that's jammed up then. Uh, pipe locked. Let's see. Pipe locked by... God, the setup is so weird. And, and also, like, a little incorrect. <laughs> We've also got we got to build up here. We've got to get. Oh man, what should we do? What should we do? Let's do this just to get that moving. And then we'll keep an eye on it, see what it does. Okay. So, oh yeah, okay. This part is is a bit wonky. Yeah, we need to set up a better loop. I think it should we should feed through here, not through here. Uh, but we, should, we need to force. I think we need to force it with a with a with a uh, a gas bridge. Let me see. This is the this is the part where I'm where I'm like, come on, coffee kick in so I can figure this out. <laughs> Please, like this looks correct, but I think I have to force it through. Otherwise, oh no, the gases are moving in the right direction. So this is a loop that would work. And the gas coming out of here is what? 66 degrees? Okay, so I think we fixed it. I believe we fixed it. Give it a minute here. To do its daily thing. So it's gonna cycle around. I looked at the temperature and it says... This stuff right here is chill. 60 degrees, that's what I wanna see. Cool, so that should uh, that should eventually correct itself. It's uh, The water is really, really hot, so that's gonna be a problem. I wonder if I should go ahead and throw a couple of... Uh, a couple of ice plates in there just to soak that up. As a matter of fact, I only have enough for like one or two, so let's just do one here. That might be enough just to mix with that and just just take care of the whole thing. We'll come back and check on that, but this is running, so that's gonna probably eventually cool that whole room pretty nicely. We'll keep an eye on this as well just to make sure that our, uh, this, <laughs> our steel-plated uh, <laughs> machine back here, series of levers, is functioning correctly. This water is getting low. Dang it! <laughs> Why? This is so frustrating. This this part is just the most frustrating part. Oh man, uh, because it's 223 degrees. So let's pump something through there that's less than 223 degrees. Let's take. Let's, what is this thing? Is this cooling off? Oh man, it's actually getting warmer. <gasps> no, that means this thing is. This is a failure. Then this setup is not working. 
I can limit the amount of, let's see, what does it come out at? 32 degrees. Maybe I should just, I mean, this is this much hydrogen versus this much steam. I, I, I can see why it's not going to work. So let me think. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I don't know how to get rid of that. I mean, if I put, it's not hot enough to run a steam. Um, is it hot enough to run a steam? Uh, generator? Let's see, a steam turbine? If it is hot enough, maybe I will just use this, and if it fails, then I just like, I mean, the, at worst, it just drops the water back, so it's not that big of a deal. Huh. Let me... I think what we'll do is we will go in here. We'll make this one out of steel, of course. We have some chlorine here I don't want to mess with, so I'm able to set it up right here. Like, just set it up inside of the room and just see what happens. Maybe we can process some uh, and then see what it does. But this is... <laughs> I can't see this really working. Uh, but it's made out of steel, right? So it should be, like, super strong. Let's see. We'll find out. This is going to be the ultimate test here. Uh, we can go ahead and break this coal. Let's go ahead and build uh, just a quick little ladder to get across there and a little open space there. Let some of that flow. Just gonna get these guys working. And then we'll put uh, just a couple of, just I guess just some uh, airflow tiles, mesh tiles. Airflow tiles that we get a little puddle of uh, water build up. And see aluminum ore. Aluminum ore? I guess the tiles don't necessarily break, so no big deal. Iron ore. What is the most accessible? I'm trying to think, what is like, what do they have like readily available? Probably a little bit more, honestly. And then, uh, we get some pipes and everything. This is attached directly to the grid. Just straight up. What is this thing? 2.57 kilowatts? Yeah, maybe, we, maybe, maybe it'll generate enough we can split it from everything. <laughs> it'll just power everything by itself. Oh, man. This will be an interesting experiment here to see how this functions. So what we'll do is we'll have this go off here and just, just drop some water. That shouldn't get backed up, I don't think. Actually, what is this made out of? Aluminum ore? That's not gonna last. <laughs> we already know that's not gonna last. Uh, the pipes will be fine though, but everything else has gotta go. So let's see. Boop. And then we'll put... I guess it has to be steel, just to make sure. Or gold, one of the two would be fine. Yeah, I wonder how it'll do. I've, I've never actually put it out in the open like this, but I mean, the water, I mean, the, the steam here is pretty warm. It's just a matter of, is it warm enough to power the steam turbine? Even if partially would be fine. Let me see. Overheat damage from what? From this guy made out of aluminum ore. We should not be surprised. Let's go ahead and do this as well. Um, what is the setting here? What does it want? It wants to find salt water. Oh, okay, it's our salt water filter. Yeah, we do kind of need that. It's kind of a, a overkill power-wise, but we could afford it for the longest time, so I'm just going, I'm stick with it, I'm stick with it. Let me see, where's that liquid filter? And then this one, we got a steel. This, these are the things we can make out of steel and feel pretty comfortable about doing so. So we'll do that. The question is if they finished this. Yes, they did. Now this part. I am super curious how this is going to work, if at all. I almost feel like the, the output would just get clogged because there's too much pressure in here. <laughs> I just need a drip. I just need a drip, damn it. Just start dripping. Oh, what's wrong? Uh, steam temperature below 257 C, I told you. Oh, man, it's 257 degrees. Okay, I guess I could have looked that up, but I wanted to try it. That sucks. Well, let's go and cancel this. So it's too hot for... It's not hot enough for the steam turbine. Or steam, yeah, steam turbine. And it's not... Uh, yeah, it's too, too dense for anything else. This is crazy. This is This is such a weird problem to have. I mean, I don't know what weird, but still, like, we just can't quite make this work. This room just got so hot and so out of control, and we've relied on it for water for the longest time, but now, I mean, we're contributing to the, to the, to the heat output here, of course. So, like, we're not helping the, we're not helping the situation anymore. I wonder if we should do this. What if we just 
just bypass this thing. We're cooling the, the, the water down, but why don't we just bypass it and just see if maybe... Maybe this will maybe this will help it. I don't know. Let's go and do this. Cut this, and then we'll split this as well. So now we're bypassing it all together. It's no longer generating heat from that. So we'll see if. I mean, we only have a little bit of time left before this becomes an issue, like a real issue. And we'll go ahead and take all this. Thank you, gentlemen, for ladies and gentlemen, for allow uh, allowing me to <laughs> try to science that somehow, uh, and it failed. That's fine. Let me, uh, let me all tab you real quick. Boop, boop, boop. I just like to pull up my list to show when I started the recording here, so that way we're not recording 10 hours! Because <laughs> I'll totally do it. Alright, so we'll come check on that. Now, meanwhile, how we doing here? Uh, temperature plate negative 9.7. So, I mean, I feel like, yeah, it's kind of working, but at the same time, it's like, uh, So, let's go ahead and do... Let's go ahead and open this thing, just get the rest of this hydrogen out of the loop. That way we're not pumping any through and we're just gonna let this room just cool on its own for a while. So we'll get all that, all of that out. Cause it's not doing anything. It was a wonderful thought. I think petroleum might be the best thing to do. Get some petroleum up here and then let that go because it, it exchange, I, I believe the exchange uh, in energy is like really, uh, it requires little energy to convert the temperature I think is what it is, right? That one little, just keep doing it. Is it gonna skip? Is it gonna skip? Oh, okay, huh? <laughs> it was the little, the little blob of hydrogen that could. Uh, not that. Come on, there we go. Turn it on. Fantastic. Off, rather. So we'll let that room cool for a little bit. This should be body temperature good. Too cold is what I want to see. Too cold. Too cold. And this is fertilization. Are we already out of uh, phosphorite? Oh my god, we are. <laughs> I did. I never did go back and get the rest of these things. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Then I guess. Jeez. Let's take a look at our options for making more fertilizer. Uh, maybe phosphorite, rather. Is this room cooling? God, I hope so. So many things. Steel. But yeah, sure, I'll take more steel. Let's see. I think it's, you know what? I think it's time to make that, um, just start getting those Drecos going. I think that's gonna be our best solution here. It just, it just, it just makes phosphorite. Like, tons and tons and tons of phosphorite. And you can just pack so many in a room. So let's see. Um... We just need to make sure it's temperature control, which shouldn't be too hard. Speaking of temperature control, this room is getting colder. It's at 125 degrees, which means it should actually be coming with getting within range here fairly soon. Uh oh, 95 degrees. Okay, still, it's getting there. It's getting there. So this room is coming together. It's gonna take a while. As long as Jesus. I was gonna say, as long as these things are pumping, I think we're good. Uh, but it's not pumping. What is this thing supposed to detect? Oh, that's supposed to detect to let that thing go through. Let's see. Uh, temperature. If it is above. Oh, this is just to keep it in this loop. Oh, you know what? I should just have this thing open all the time. This is an unnecessary part of this loop, I think. Let's make it like one degree and above, and that should probably take care of that. There we go. This should be, this is going to be the uh, the arbiter of temperature here. This will be keep, <laughs> keeping an eye on the temper temperature, not this mess right here. That was part of the initial setup, and that's probably what was confusing me there. So that should be good. Now, let's think about where we're going to put these Drecos. We already have uh, some Dreco stuff set up, or some uh, farming stuff set up here. We do have the option to maybe try to use pips to plant things, but god, that's such a pain in the butt. I think what I'll do is, instead of that, I am just going to just do some basic farms. We have dirt. We don't have any dirt. Wow, man. We don't have any dirt. We don't even have dirt, man. What the heck? <laughs> all right, cool. Well, well uh, we're going to go take out this and then all this. And then we're going to get caved in here a little bit. Um, We do this and we get this. We could step up over that dude, and get those. Uh, This and this. This is so silly. But I mean, it makes sense. This is, uh, this is the part of the game we're at. There is a way to convert to make dirt from fertilizer or something using a uh, one of these refinement things let me see which one was it fertilizer there he goes uh polluted water to produce fertilizer so yeah that's that is an option and i've done this on another save so it is something that we could probably look into god i hope this is working man i feel like we i feel like thermo aqua tuner is what screwed me trying to cool cool the water in this room was a mistake uh i think probably the better option would have been to actually block this off 
so that way it has its own space to operate in with its own water to keep it regulated. Um, and I think that probably would have worked better. Just keep a little block of just water, you know, water or whatever. Maybe redo it, have them like four side by side, and then fill it with water and then seal it off. That way it always has water in it. Um, that would have been an option too. Just just to keep this separate because this these aqua tuners are just heating up everything <laughs> in the vicinity. Everything is getting heated up. All right, so yes, we're going to start the, uh, once we get some dirt together, we are going to start, what's the deal here? I know that they're probably busy doing other things, but as long as they're able to reach this, they should, they're probably going to go up here, which I think, yeah, this, this is the spot. We should see somebody come through here in a minute. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and they're going to take care of that. Uh, dirt anywhere else? We just need enough to get started. Yeah, there, there's the sound saying that we have dirt. <laughs> wow, man. Dirt, dirt, dirt. We gotta start making some dirt. Oh, we really do. There's not really, really not a lot of dirt around. I mean, there's like huge chunks of it. When you think it's like, oh, look at all that dirt, just go mine it out. But that's not, not really a lot, honestly. There's some down here we could probably get our hands on. Let me see. I mean, this is some good chunks. And then we're gonna take this. We're gonna cut this down, get some of that. And then what is down here? Some phosphorite. Not right now. So a couple of arbitrary is going to be upset, but they'll be, you know, put towards a good, for a good cause. We should probably get up here and get all these eventually, but I think we have enough to get started. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and build it right here, I think. Right right underneath here, I think it's probably a good place to get started. Let me see. Farm tile. Dirt. Because we have so much of it. Wow, so much. Uh, I know that. Here's the thing. I know that in order to get, oh, that's, you know what, to farm plastic, I'm not really worried about it. So never mind. I was going to say, uh, we probably should set it up so we could, with some hydrogen, so we could get some plastic out of the deal because they excrete plastic or they, um, you can shave them, get plastic, or whatever, or groom them. Shave them. That sounds weird. But, uh, yeah, no, we're not worried about that. So let's see. How do you want to do it? Let's just do a couple of regular tiles. We don't really need to worry about it keeping too, uh, keeping it too, uh, Temperature regulated, so we need a couple, one for a door, and then, I mean, yeah, just something like that. We'll have some hydrogen build up in the top here, which would be good, and then same thing on the other side, and then a couple of squares here. The couple of squares is for a grooming station. Oh, wait, is it tall enough for a grooming station? Hold on a second. These things are kind of tall. It's still so weird that these things are under food. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the grooming stations are not under food. Okay, just all the traps and everything. <laughs> Yeah, we need a critter drop off, and then we're gonna need a uh, not a critter feeder, but we're gonna need station. Let me see, shearing station, grooming station, keep them happy. Shearing station, I guess if we want to take out some, uh, get ourselves some. Actually, let's do, let's do this. Let's swap this and this. Uh, if we need some plastic or whatever, whatever we groom off of them. Reed fiber, which actually is not too bad. Yeah, we could probably put, we could put that to use. I'm just gonna let these guys sleep slowly while we work over here. When we get our stuff together. Okay, so that's going to that's gonna be that. We need one more spot for a critter drop off, so we still put that in. And then we're gonna go ahead and line the bottom with farm tiles. Put meal wood in there. Um, let me see. What else do I want to do in this room to keep things? I think I think letting them letting the dupes manage everything else is fine. The phosphorite is going to be delivered directly to wherever it's needed, so I'm not worried about that either. So let's let these guys work. Uh, probably need power as well. Yeah, right here. Oh, I should have swapped these things. That's fine. What is this? 2.27 watts. What is this? Uh, oh, this is perfect. Go down. Try to make us look neat. Neat. There we go. Perfect. Ain't no reason to have a natural tile there. Plus, I can make my own natural tiles eventually. Right here. Get to work. Get to work. Go, 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 go. This will be good. We'll uh, corral them all up. We'll get some mealwoods going. Mealwood seed. This should be, I mean, what is the temperature, 80 degrees? Yeah, like, there's not really a whole lot of work we'll have to do here. It'll just exist and just work. Copy settings. 
Come on, dudes. Almost, almost, almost. Done. Oh, man. Really? This thing? Okay, deconstruct. How? There's so much space. There's so much space. Why? Copy. Get out of there. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, he's doing us a favor with the oxalite, right? Now, please don't get stuck in there again somehow. So this thing's already growing. Perfect. Here, drop off. This is going to be for Dracos. Dracos! Glossy Draco, Glossy Draco, I don't care. Just give me all of them. Dracos. Any other crazy Dracos or anything? Nope. Looks like we're good. I didn't really look. I just assumed. <laughs> Outside. Oh, because the door. Come on, guys. Is it made out of steel? Son of a... <laughs> Stop making things out of steel, man. This random, this is just so random what it makes, they make out of steel. Killing me. Killing me. Did you make these out of steel somehow? No. Okay, good. Let's make doors out of aluminum. <laughs> it's the cheapest thing I could find. Aluminum. Aluminium. There we go. Aluminium does sound better. Oh, let's see. So we'll come back to that in a second. Like two seconds. Let's go check on this over here. Temperature should be dropping some more. 121 degrees. This was 130 before, right? Well, it was definitely warmer before, but this is running. That's all that matters. So it is uh, slowly but surely adding some cool water to the mix. It could actually cool some more. I say if it's uh, below 80 degrees, go out. Maybe we'll say if it's below 60 degrees, and then we'll come back and we'll make adjustments. I'll have to see what's going on right below us too with our bristle blossoms. So 60 degrees. Let's so keep it in a nice little loop for a bit until that gets nice and cold. What's going on down here, guys? Body temperature. So it's too warm down here, huh? What? It's so picky. Look at this. Hardly. Hardly. Okay. So let's... Let's see. This is already pretty high in... In pressure. So let's go ahead and drop the pressure some. We'll make it, uh... 1200. And the reason why is because I want some room to... Wiggle room whenever we... Decide to start pumping some gas in here. They're, he's complaining about being cold. Like, for reals? <laughs> Lindsay, soggy feet, hungry ass, yeah, soggy feet. I know, that part sucks. I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and mop this up. There's always soggy feet when they go through here. They don't really seem to care most of the time, but, you know, we'll just go ahead and take care of it now. Who to stop from becoming an issue? This water is gonna be what kills me here. Look at this. The water's only here to keep this from leaking. Mop, mop some of it up as well. Then what we'll do is we'll set this temperature down so if it's below a certain amount, it opens. Uh, oh, it's above. If it's above 65, let's say if it's above 55. Open it up. Or turn it on. I just want to just start just pumping. Just start pumping and get the flow going like that. Go, 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 go. The more this thing pumps, the more these things drop more. Cooler air. And so this room will start to cool off a bit more. Sorry, the water is a problem, huh? 158 degree water? Yeah, that'll probably do it. <laughs> yeah, dude, that'll totally do it. I mean, that's why we put them underneath, but specifically because of this problem here. Uh, let's hope that we can overrun it using uh, using our system here. And then this, this is going to be the thing that, yeah, it's, uh, hopefully it's going to continue to drop in temperature. It should. Like, this is a good cycle. It could take longer to, to process some of it, but... I mean, it should. I honestly feel like we should probably cut off the top ones and just run the bottom ones temporarily. You know? Like, just to keep... Like, let's say we'll take this and we'll say if it's above... Uh, we'll cut this one off a little bit. So that way it's just the bottom one that's pumping out. Uh, just the bottom ones, I should say. So let's say if it's above 80 degrees. So that should shut it off. No? Right? Oh, uh, if it's... Oh, it's 90 degrees. Wow, okay. So let's say if it's above 100 degrees? Please, I don't know. There we go. So that'll shut off the top ones. So now we're only getting fed from the bottom. And then in turn, we should only be mostly pumping it out through the bottom. Uh, this is this is running here. Let me see. The pressure is... Okay, if it's below that, it's going to stay open. Let's do... Uh, if it's below... Let's just say, like, 500. Because it's oxygen is swishing around up here, and I feel like it's kind of messing up this, uh, this, this, this meter here. We'll make it, like, 250. Because it's like a tiny little brick of oxygen is kind of swimming around over here. You'll probably see it actually. 
Uh, oh, maybe maybe it's this little brick right here. Yeah, look. So this keeps triggering it, and it keeps changing the uh, the pressure. We'll eventually probably evacuate all of this and just see if we can like create a better seal. But every time we open this door, it's gonna be a problem. And I don't want, I don't feel like air making this airtight. We just need the bottom area to uh, to feed and um, well to feed and, and deposit nice cold carbon dioxide. Okay, so those things are working. And some more steel. Wow, it's like two times in a row. Oh, look at this. It's a beaut. It is a beaut. Now, uh, now we should probably actually go ahead and go collect some trecos. <laughs> um, let's take a look around and see what kind of critters we have. We have them all over the place. Do we have any in the base, maybe? What's the easiest way to see all the... Oh, we've got animals all over the damn place. Hatches, all kinds of stuff. But trecos, though, not a lot. Huh. I mean, there's tons inside of these spaces here. So we could take them. We could bust in here and take these guys. <laughs> abduct them, basically. And that wouldn't be... I mean, that'd be fine, right? Morally wrong, but still fine. Let me see. Is there any up here? Uh, is a Draco here? God, if there, I mean, how do we get in here, though? Without making such a huge mess. How about down here? An area I don't care about too much. Yeah, look at this. This is perfect. Because this is going to really... I don't think this is really going to leak too much. Right? <laughs> so what we'll do is... Oh yeah, I got an idea. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll seal this up. Oops. And then we'll break this down. And then I'll have these guys go through here and just trudge through here and get this. This is going to... This water will fall through and that's fine. But they'll be able to get through and at least get... There's a Dracula, Dracula egg. And which is incubating, was it 3%? It has a fresh Dracula egg. How old is this guy? Okay, stop so I can grab you. There we go. He is 96. Okay, so he... He may not be... He may not get another egg out before he... Ages out. <laughs> I guess you could say. Hmm. Let me see. But we will grab him though. Yeah. Though they're already done. Wow, so fast. So let's see, I don't want to do this. Let's go and take this ladder all the way down, make it out of plastic. And then we'll just have them go up and over. This is good, it'll create a nice little, not seal necessarily, but it should keep it somewhat separated. Maybe... yeah, it's fine. You see a swish of all kinds of gases flowing through there. Come on. Okay. And then we can tell them to wrangle this up. Let's wrangle. The Dracula egg. I don't have a. Oh, I do have a place to put a Dracula egg. Let's sweep that up. Then what we'll do is we'll set this up to support Dracula eggs. Right now it's all shine nymphs. We'll move that. Cancel that. Let's see. Oh, we don't have access to it yet. So there it is right there. If we do that. Oh, cool. So they should grab that up as soon as they have access to it and pull that over. Now, uh, what's the priority of that? Yeah, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Ain't never gonna happen. Zap zap. Zap zap, wrangle wrangle. I don't think we have anybody that's dedicated to uh, doing the ranking job, but it'll still happen, right? Somebody will learn to it. Oh, we should probably make this, uh... We should probably make this a priority, a high priority. There we go. So this will be our first directly. And maybe, maybe we'll get lucky we'll get another egg out of it. Scale growth 100%. Well, we're not worried about a scale so much. Let me see. Uh-oh, that's our problem with Minecraft. Let me see. He said that. Villagers are trying to kill him. Unreachable. Dupes cannot reach this op- well, not right now, of course not. Let me see, Aaron's. Unreachable, unreachable. Okay, that's why, because it's not a priority. Requires learned skill. Ah, there we go. So, who, who, oh yeah? <laughs> that's it. Who's gonna be, how about Hammer? Hammer could be our, well, does anybody actually have, want it? Let me see, does it matter? I mean, look at this. <laughs> Chinatown, ah, Chinatown likes critter ranching. Look at that. Chinatown, is Chinatown actually allowed over here? I don't know if he is. Let's go ahead and give him the ultimate critter ranch, and we'll even give him a hat. How's that? Critter ranching. It's kind of a cool hat, too. Let me see. So now, does Chinatown have access? Because I know we blocked a bunch of people from getting through here. It does not. Well, he does now. Now he's going to be our fetcher. 
I believe he's had enough time on the, uh, on the treadmill <laughs> to keep him, keep him in check here. Now, we can actually make this, come on guys, unreachable. There it is, because it keeps moving. That's so funny. If we do that, that'll solve that problem. And then he's, they'll be reachable no matter where he goes. There we go. Now, now let's get a wrangle. Let's get a wrangle. Let's get a wrangle. Let's get a wrangle. Let's go. Wrangle it up so I get out of here. <laughs> wrangle it up. What is happening? Oh, God, they're sleeping. There it is. Chinatown. Current Aaron. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. We need a phosphorite, man. <laughs> we need that phosphorite. It starts with this. The Master Dreco. Is it unreachable now? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he just keeps on running away. Wait, jump. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. There it is. Navy Devil got it. Okay. Now, let's, let's, get, to, let's get to scooping. Let's get to scooping. Oh, Hugshot took care of it. Oh, weird. What is Chinatown doing? We'll tend to them, right? Oh, they're putting the food away. Hmm. Uh, let's make it so only Chinatown comes in here. So only Chinatown is allowed. So we'll say nobody else, everybody else could go out but not in on that door. And Chinatown allowed access. Just complete access. There we go. And they could go out but not in. That way we don't have people cleaning up all this stuff that we don't necessarily need to clean up. But Navy Devil's just kind of taken too, huh? Is Navy Devil, is that one of his skills, I wonder? Hold on a second, did I forget? Oh yeah, it is one of his skills. Okay, cool, you know what? He could have, he could have that too. So cool, now we have one happy, one happy Dreco. <laughs> and look, already we have, oh, that's not, that's Oxlade, okay. I thought, I thought for sure we'd already excreted some. So Chinatown and Navy Devil both have access to this room. And that's it. Uh, we'll have to stop them from cleaning up though. How do we do that, I wonder? We could put a, uh, no, let's say if we put a dropper, like a food dropper, then they will... You know, we don't need mealwood for anything, so why don't we take mealwood off of everything else, food-wise? Let me see. Like, I think there's probably mealwood in here. Edible, nope, nope. It's probably taken to the fridge then. Cooking ingredient, maybe? Let's find out where they're taking it, because that's gonna be a thing. Hammered, what is he, was he carrying anything? Dirt. Okay, let's see where... Someone's gonna come in here. And they're gonna pick this up. There he goes. Chinatown, we're gonna follow you, bud. Follow Cam, let's find out. So you are going to... Oh, they are putting it down in here. Oh, it was because it's a... Let's see, oh, edible, it's in here. Meal lice, there it is. Boop, nope, can't have none of that. Same thing. Boop, cool. Cool, now they, uh, they shouldn't have a place to stick it. <laughs> see, edible, let's make sure that, okay, yeah. So like, even this one, we'll say meal lice, off the, off the thing. Then, uh, same thing here. If they want to pick one up and cook one every once in a while, that's fine, whatever. But that's not going to, uh, but they, they, they at least they'll be able to freeze that. They won't be able to cook it enough because the damn thing will be shut off all the time. Let me see, meal ice, cool. All right, so now now the food should be dropping, but not actually going anywhere. Meal wood, oh, 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 come on, give it to me. Yes! And there it is. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your nights.